Hello there, my name is Brennan McDonald. I am a freelance digital artist and I exclusively use Corel products for my work. In this video, I'm going to be doodling up something for you, hopefully giving a little bit of helpful info on what I do that you can apply to what you do, if that makes any sense. I usually start paintings and illustrations this way using the Concept Art Jitter Smooth brush. It's my very favorite brush. It's got a nice soft edge on one side and a nice hard edge on the other. Once you get used to using it, you can manipulate it in many different ways to your benefit. Also, when using brushes, I usually use them at as large a setting as possible. Don't get bogged down in the details. If you get into the details too early, you could end up with something terrible in the end. For example, bad proportions, bad overall design, bad perspective, the list goes on. Plus, 9.5 out of 10 people aren't going to go back and look at your work through a magnifying glass. And for those that do, they've got problems, so don't worry about it. Just about finished um, with this portion of the drawing and about to start on the line work. For the line work, I usually like to use the cover pencil. Sometimes I use the scratch board tool, but it's a little too sharp for me. I kind of like a little bit of that uh, softness of the cover pencil. However, for me, the scratch board tool is great for specular lighting, for metals or glass. Uh, it's also good for outlining things for graphical type work uh, if you need that really sharp outlining or or even filling. It's, it's a really good fill tool as well. But this is all just my own personal preference. If you notice the wrinkles on the trunk, they are wrinkles but they are also contour lines. And I'm putting contour lines all over the elephant's face and head and I mean they're perfect for defining form. I had a problem in art school. Um, my teacher taught me to draw contours but on a sphere. The problem with this of course is that a blank sphere doesn't have any comprehensible direction. Basically because of this lesson I didn't understand the practical application of contour lines and really how much they can help represent form. So here I've drawn some symmetrical lips. I'm just going to show you real quick that they are in fact symmetrical. Wrong color. Okie dokie. There we go. So you can tell the corners of the mouth are the same. The middle is the same. The up or the bottom and upper lip are the same with the mirror tool. So I'm just going to show you how contour lines can make it appear as though there's a there's like a direction to it. So you see how they look like they're kind of going left? Just based on the contour lines. Same symmetrical lips. And then you can turn it around. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's get back to the original drawing. So I'm going a little overboard with it now. Um, typically I wouldn't uh, do quite this much line work, but eh, it's, it's pretty fun, pretty fun to do. It's nice to try new things. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say really. Oh, I highly recommend learning hotkeys. If you don't utilize hotkeys, you are probably wasting a pretty good amount of time going back and forth and just kind of all over the screen in general whether you're selecting a brush or selecting your eraser or undoing. Uh, I could probably stand to use more hotkeys myself but I recommend at least having a hotkey or a shortcut for undo, redo, rotate canvas, brush, eraser, brush size, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all I've got. You can figure these out through the Corel website or through the user manual. So now I'm just adding some highlights here and there. Uh, it's just a basic overhead highlight and uh, doing a little bit of a background fill to give it a little bit more contrast. It's a bit flat with just the one kind of pink color. So yeah, that about covers it. Here it is after a tiny bit more shading and 
that's just a multiply layer on top and some reflected light from the ground coming up underneath. So that, that about does it. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Thank you.